hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome to the start of Hermitcraft Season 7. That is right, it is finally upon us. It is time to step into the Infinity Portal and have it whisk us away to the brand new world. Goodbye, Season 6. Hello, Season 7. Whoa, 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 what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is, uh, oh, that is one way to enter a Hermitcraft season there from the sky and, uh, huh. It appears to have dropped us into a village or i mean jungle <laughs> villages commonly known as jungles no it's not it's just i can't speak and there's cats <gasps> the infinity portal knows what makes me happy and it dropped me amongst some cats i is that another one <laughs> it is <laughs> oh that is fantastic i think there's even another one back there anyway welcome to catcraft this is oh what in the world you're a wizard scar have fun infinity portal um, what? Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> the infinity portal has made me into a wizard. <laughs> I am rocking some beautiful wizard robes. I am quite, oh, oh my. I do not have pants. I have delightful velvety soft robes, but uh, the infinity portal did not give me a pair of pants. Well, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with my season. And the infinity portal just gave me that inspiration. A wizard. Look at that wizard beard. I should get some beard oil for that. Like, nice. And I've got slippers on, just like in real life. I rock in the slippers anytime, any occasion. I mean, come on, think about it. Do I really need shoes? But I wear them to be polite. So, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, this is interesting. I like the jungle. It is looking good. I'm a wizard now, so, uh, hmm. I guess wizard themed builds. It is. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Oh, hello there, my friends. We are just banging some wood here, getting the start of our supplies to build our starter base. And it is a beautiful time here to see the world in its infancy and to think about all the beautiful things the hermits are going to create here. And it's just a magical time. I absolutely love the start of a season. It's relaxing. It's peaceful. It brings you back to the time that when you first started Minecraft and you had absolutely no idea what was going on. And uh, I remember it like 2010 was when I first started playing Minecraft. And boy, did I not know what was going on. Other than that, I knew there is a green monster and he explodes. <laughs> I'm curious. When did you start playing Minecraft? Let me know. Was it yesterday? Was it 10 years ago? I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, let me know. It's it's really dark and I'm kind of scared and the jungles are scary. I'm going to grab some watermelons <laughs> and hide in a dirt hole. That seems like a good idea. Ah, <sighs> It has already happened. I'm being chased around by mobs, but we are alive and I'm ready to set out on an adventure to find some resources so that we can get started with our base. And there's some sheep so we can make a bed, which is gonna be fantastic. I'd also like to see if I can find some panda bears because I've never found them in the wilds of Minecraft yet. And I'm also kind of curious if you can eat them. <laughs> Do they drop food? Because I'm kind of hungry and the melons not cutting it. Ah, beautiful Captain Jack soaring through the jungle. I am super lost in the jungle and everything imaginable trying to kill me. Look at these skeletons with their shiny new bows. That's the shiniest bow I've ever seen in my life. And they keep hitting me with it. And I don't know how to get back to my little lake. This is the scariest night I've ever had in Minecraft. <laughs> I've got melons and zombies surrounding me. Oh my gosh, help me. Someone sleep, please. This night can't get any worse. Now I've got an enderman on my tail. <laughs> that was my worst first night of my life. But now I have a little kitty here to keep me company and to relax me. <laughs> that was so scary. Oh, what in the world? I just fell in a hole. No, 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 there's a zombie. No, <laughs> I think I finally found panda bears too. <laughs> Whoa, finally some panda bears after all this time. Hello there, friends. Hello, hello. <laughs> good sir, good sir, how are you? Question, Mr. Panda. I have a question for you. Do you provide anything in the meat department? Because I'm hungry and I'm in need of some food. <laughs> I promise you I will breed a million panda bears for this one panda. Nope. We learned two things today. One, pandas are aggressive. Did not know that. Two, 
I did not watch Cubs 1.15, everything you need to know about the Minecraft update yet because, well, we never updated to 1.15, so I never saw there to be a need. That's a grave mistake for somebody who makes Minecraft videos. Everything is trying to kill me, and there's a beautiful shelter here. This reminds me of the TV show Lost. <laughs> We're going to take refuge in here until daytime. Wow. All right. Oh, thank you, Tango. Great timing. I promise I'm not going to eat you. I just want my stuff. Can I grab it real quick? I can provide you a Kleenex. You've got a runny nose. All right, here we go. We got it, run. <laughs> Pandas are so mean. Ah, we finally made it back to our little lake here. And boy, that entire adventure was to find panda bears. What a disappointment. They're a bunch of meanie bears. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is get serious here. We need to get a bed. We need to get some torches. We need to get some food. And then we can start on our starter house base, things on those lines, which I still don't know what we're gonna do yet. So maybe while we're doing that, I'll get some ideas. Oh, our luck is changing, my friends. We found a village that didn't have a floor and they all fell out. Oh, whoa, whoa, why is there always something trying to kill me? Anyway, we are in a village and there's gotta be some good stuff in here. A bed, a beautiful bed, our spawn. What is this? Spawn point set. What are we playing, modded these days? Is that vanilla? That's vanilla, that's next gen. Mojang, thank you. <gasps> and food, sweet berries. <laughs> this is great. Oh man, we had a rough go at first, but I feel things are turning around now. Oh, I'm so thankful for this village. You have no idea. Well, for the sake of the server, we've now got ourselves a pair of pants and pair of boots now, and we've got a little setup here. We've got a bed, we've got some chests, and look at this, we even found a little flower pot on our adventures. So our next phase is to get some actual iron. So it's time to head into the caves. Ah, <sighs> didn't even make it into the actual cave before dying. <laughs> All right, take two. Back from the underworld, we now have ourselves a little homestead here. So we got some melons growing, we got some wheat, and of course some iron has been smelting away here in the furnace. And as you can see, the uh, chest monsters have followed us once again from the previous season. So <laughs> from uh, seven to six to five to four to my survival world, they have been with us forever. <laughs> and they'll probably always be. So maybe this season, what we'll do is we'll make Scarves Disorganization Shop where we sell all forms of storage. That sounds like a really fun idea. We'll model it after, oh, the inspiration is flowing right now. We'll model it after our Twitch emote for the chest monster. I think that would be absolutely perfect. So we'll put that on our to-do list for later in the coming weeks. But anyway, for now, we need to think about what we're going to build for our starter house. And I think I have the perfect idea for this. So the inspiration came from Jelly, my cat, who looked kind of like a snail. <laughs> So I started drawing a snail, and from that I realized how fun would it be to put a little house inside of its shell. So, that's what we're going to do, and I don't have an elytra. Oh, I'm trying to get used to that. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do, I think we're going to clear out a little grove here. We'll build up the snail shell, and you know, add like a head with some antennae, and... Dude, I think this could be amazing and really unique with a little smokestack potentially, a little staircase going into it. And from there, being a magical we are, maybe we could create a land of misfit magical creatures just like us, you know? We we, we don't we don't have any pants on, so I mean we're kind of a misfit here, and I still haven't been able to conjure any magic. <laughs> so the land of misfit uh, magical creatures. That's what we're going to do here. We are totally outfitted. Look at this. Look at us in this amount of time. We've only died like five times, one time by a panda. But other than that, I think we're doing pretty darn good here. So I set myself up with a ton of iron tools, full set of iron armor, a bit of food, a bed. And where we're going to head off to for our first resource grind is to get acacia logs. Now I was thinking, how do you make a snail? So we need a shell in the slimy part. For the slimy part, I think it would be kind of cool to go with acacia um, bark because it kind of has that like kind of texture that almost looks slimy. And yeah, so I think it'll be our first task is to get some of that. And boy, do I ever know where a savanna is. All these times I've died, I've had to cross through one. Time for a bit of an acacia grind, which is going to be quite 
extreme because this is going to be a fairly large snail because we need to put our little house and our little starter supplies and machines inside of it. Back from the savanna, that was a whole lot of harvesting of our acacia wood, but we got a whole bunch of it, which is nice. That was all done with an iron axe. So let's drop off our little bit of oak that we got. We also brought a bit of sand back because we will eventually need to make some windows for our house, of course. So what we need to do now is get ourselves a boat and head off into the ocean and see if we can find a dark oak forest because that is the last wood that we need for this. And we're off. Off to find some dark oak saplings. And I know if we sail straight, we're gonna find Mesa and eventually a Mushroom Island. So, hmm, where to sail is the question. Oh, finally, that was quite a journey. We finally found some dark oak saplings and this makes me super happy. So let's climb ashore and start harvesting. Home sweet home, we are back after a massive grind. As you can see, look, oh look, we can't even fit all of our dark oak into the chest here. We even got some birch saplings. We have a little sugar cane and some paper. So that is good. So where we're gonna move now is to deforesting the jungle. And that doesn't sound right. <laughs> we're gonna take down all the trees around here and we're going to level out a spot or a giant snail. And of course, once once we're done taking the trees out, we'll replant them so we're good stewards of the environment. Um, but yeah, I think this will look pretty cool. So like I said, next task, clear in this area. Land has been cleared and a start to our shell has emerged. So with any good start to a build, you wanna bring in a little dirt, get the basic shapes laid out so that you can see how it will fit within the environment. And I think this is looking good. So that's about as high as I wanna go and about as wide. So I think that'll be nice. So where we'll fill in from the ground level to the first beam here is this is where the slimy part will go with the acacia and then it'll swoop up into a beautiful head and I've got some fun plans for that. And I think on this side over here, we're gonna do a little staircase coming out of the shell and then we'll start kind of building up things around the area. So with that, let's start getting the shell done first because I think that's gonna be easier than getting the slimy part. The slimy part, more of a natural organic, the shell, more of a structure, easier to put together. So. Let's start with that. Working out the design for the shell is a little harder than I thought, but I think we're starting to get there. See how I'm... I'm... <laughs> what the heck? It is a peregrine. Oh, this is... Uh... He's stealing my wheat. He's stealing my wheat. We got a wheat thief. <laughs> he got away with my, with my wheat. <laughs> and he's a little parrot too. How adorable. Now, I wondered why I was not getting any growth from my wheat. Now, the pumpkins over here are killing it, but the wheat wasn't. Mystery solved. <laughs> the jungle bandit. I cannot tell you how many times I have accidentally leaped off a structure, forgetting that I do not have an elytra nor rockets, um, but luckily I haven't died yet. So that's a plus. Now, as you can see, we've got a giant Swedish meatball here looking super fancy, but eventually this will become a snail shell. So what I'm trying to think about at the moment is what kind of material are we going to use for the shell structure? So for the snail's body, that of course will be our acacia bark. Now I've considered stripped acacia logs, dark oak stripped logs, things like that. And I'm kind of leaning towards the dark oak. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're probably going to do. And also I'm pretty proud that I built this thing without any aids, just eyeballing it. And we got a pretty good circle from it. So I'm pretty happy with this. We will be making some modifications like this section will be slightly different so that we can accommodate a door and, you know, build out some farms and things like that in this area into the future. And on the other side, we'll do like a delightful uh, window. So yeah, we are making progress. So now it's time to woodify this dirt structure. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> that has to be the work once again of the jungle bandit. I have heard that explosion go off like three times now. <laughs> Where are you jungle bandit? Reveal yourself. I know you are there. <laughs> We will seek our revenge. So I'm taking a little break from the snail and I'm going on the offense against the jungle bandits. So 
He's been around here. I've seen him lurking in the bushes. I've heard explosions going off in the corners of the area. So what I've done is I've got myself a bell and I'm going to find him over in his base and I'm going to annoy the living scars out of him after I finish getting the giant snail shell complete. So yeah, let's get it done and then we go and annoy him. Now that the meatball has been cooked, it's time to strip it down. And this has to be one of the most satisfying things to do in Minecraft. It's very relaxing. Any other hermits need me to strip their logs? I could totally do it for you. Seriously, I have been fighting zombies here for like 10 minutes. One hand, I'm doing my strip it. The other hand, slaying them zombies here. And look, look at this, I don't only have a heart. <laughs> That's a bell, I can't eat bells. <laughs> oh, the watermelon. This is not cutting it. We need a better food source here. Jeez Louise, I see more of them in the jungle. It killed me, what the heck? Welcome back to your friendly neighborhood, Zombie Slayer. Wave after wave continues to funnel out of that jungle. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I, I have a feeling the pandas might be involved in this, or there's a spawner. More likely that it's a spawner, but I also want to throw shade at the pandas. Still upset about it, so. <laughs> And why are these guys so hardy? They got like protection on. No, 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 not the children. Not the children. All the things in the jungle. Just not the children. <laughs> this is, this is insane at this point. All I do is fight zombies now. <laughs> I don't understand where they are all coming from. But I feel like it is the work of the one, the only jungle bandit. I don't know how he would be doing this. I don't know. But I will get to the bottom of this. I promise you, we'll get to the- Oh shoot, oh shoot. No, get to the water, get to the water. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We dove into the water and saved our life with a quarter of the heart left. There's also like Spider-Man over there. This is beyond suspicious. Drowns. I'm going to set up by the meatball and see where they are coming from. <gasps> <laughs> we got him, ladies and gentlemen. The jungle bandit's trap has been discovered. That's literally like embarrassingly right under our nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. He did. He created a reverse zombie water slide of death. <laughs> wow. Okay then, Mr. Bandit. Let's see if we can get his attention. I wonder if he's going to... Oh, okay. That scared me. <laughs> I wonder if we can get him to be honest, or is he gonna play coy? Weird, yeah, so weird. Let's see, yeah. So weird, right? Oops, that's not how you spell right. No, no, I'm trying to type it, I'm dying here. <laughs> and I lost my message. <laughs> I'm such a slow typer. <laughs> Help me get my stuff. Hello, jungle bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know I'm a slow typer and I'm trying to type and the zombies are killing me over here. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I, I've been watching you now for about 35 minutes and it, it's ju it just went from, from event to event. How long did it take you to realize that those zombies weren't natural? Well, I mean, once the drowns started coming, I had my suspicions. The suspicions were, were had at the drowns. But I mean, I'm stripping over here, doing my best hey, strip. Hey, and, hang on you know. a minute. Mm -hmm. now, now, now that's a red flag. They, they, they're they not meant to be in the jungle, the, the drowns. <laughs> but my my ability to act on this knowledge was like minimal. I'm like, well, that seems weird, you know? Something seems up here. <laughs> and finally, dude, okay. I literally saw a zombie like fly out of that hole. And I'm like... I <laughs> I have been working on this for a couple of hours. Oh man! Right, I, I have officially turned it off. It's it's done. I've had my fun. <sighs> um, as a reward for your for your good patience and your uh, good sportsmanship, I will. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make you a diamond <laughs> pick. <laughs> I don't have any diamonds, dude. I've been I've been mining for four hours and I found nothing. But what I will let you use is the zombie spawner that I used to prank you just now. I will let you use it um, as an XP farm. I'm going to set one up now, and then you can use it to uh, repair the tools that you currently don't own. Do you, do you know where my base is? I'm, I'm, your, I'm your next door neighbor. I saw you come out of the jungle, and that's why you are the jungle bandit. So are you over here? Where, where are you I'm at? I'm just around the corner from you. Do you want some meatball? No. <laughs> All right, jeez. 
I gotta give it to Green. <laughs> that was clever. That was very clever. It uh, it had me. I was pretty convinced that either there was a panda conspiracy <laughs> or there was a spawner over there. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. But that leads us to the point of how are we gonna get back at him? That's right, we need to think of something. Originally, I was just going to get the bell and ring it in his general direction where I thought his base was. So now we need to take it up a notch. So in the comments, let me know. I got a couple ideas swirling in my head. We'll do that in our next episode. But for now, we need to start working on this. We have this beautiful interior where we'll furnish it up into our starter base in here and it's super beautiful and cozy. And then down at the bottom here, we need to actually build the snail. So let's grab our acacia logs and start working out the shape of the slug, getting its head on there, its eyes, its tail, things along those lines and getting the windows and the doors all set up and ready to go. The scar dirt method is the absolute best way of doing organic shapes in survival. And this side of it is given off like a Loch Ness monster vibe. It's Nessie. Uh, but eventually we will turn this into a snail. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to save time, you want to make something organic looking in survival, the dirt method is the only way to go. We did it. We've got a snail built. Now there's tons of little details that I want to install, but the structure is there and I kind of think it's convincing. I hope you do too. And uh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> we need to name this thing. I'm not sure what the name is going to be yet, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So where we're going to move now is to adding some facial, you know, expressions to the, the head there. And then I was thinking about adding some little bumps and things to the slimy part. So yeah, I think that'll look cool. Now what that's gonna look like, I'm not 100% sure. I did grab some stone buttons, um, so I might try that and see if those look good. But what I wanna work on is that head, so let's head up there. I don't know why, but I'm getting the vibe of a Larry. <laughs> Larry the snail. I don't know if we're gonna keep it there, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of loving it, I'm going to admit. <laughs> so what we're gonna work on now is the antennae. So we're going to put the antenna like that, maybe? I'm not sure. I know there's gonna be some modifications, right? We're not gonna get this like perfect, like the first time. So we'll just kind of play with it. So we'll do one on that side. Um, when I was taking a little peek at some snails, um, because it's been a long time since I've literally seen a snail. <laughs> I grew up in California and uh, we had tons of little garden snails. And uh, where, I, where I live now, we've got none. We have gigantic slugs but no shell. So I grabbed a couple little materials after playing around in creative real quick, just to kind of get some vibes for a head. And you can hear Jelly in the background. <laughs> Jelly, you can get out after I finish Larry's hair here. Eyes, not hair. I don't think uh, snails have hair. We can always put hair on if we need to. <laughs> All right, so we got that done. I think that's gonna look cool. Let's throw on a little eye, right? Let's just throw that onto the side there, bam. And then we'll do a little bit over here. Nice, let's see what this looks like from below. I'm saying it right now, this is Larry the Snail and I'm loving it. I also realized that he's got a derpy eye. <laughs> it's like one block above. I didn't realize I did that. Whereas this one is just one stone pillar shy. And I, I'm going to keep it that way. Lair's just gotten, <laughs> he's got a, a derpy eye and we love him for it. So yeah, <laughs> this has to be one of the more silly things we've ever built, but I'm, I'm in love with it. I love it. So like I said, I want to put those buttons on here. So I might want to test out maybe one or two other colors. And then he's definitely got to have like a little slippery slime trail behind him. And of course, we need to make the classic snail swirl and windows and a door going inside because eventually that'll be our house. Oh, <gasps> we should add a smokestack too. Oh, I'm so inspired. Look at how fancy Larry's shell now looks. The depth, the color contrast, I'm absolutely loving it and so inspired right now, which is absolutely fantastic. So what I wanna do is I wanna take a little bit of some oak fences and I wanna fill in these cracks right here and I think that'll add a little extra depth in there. And then we can take some lanterns, maybe hang it off of where the lights are. And yeah, I'm really liking this. Oh, and get some glass for the windows, but let's move over to the other side 
inside, and this, of course, is our doorway that'll lead inside of the shell. Now, how do we do this, right? Do we do a door with a staircase going straight out? Do we have a little curve to the staircase? Is it a ladder? I'm not sure because that is way up in the air. We'll have to figure that out. Also, maybe we could put a hat on the shell sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Sometimes I, I get so inspired and I just have a thousand ideas now for this thing. But uh, yeah, let's get those staircase going so we can actually get into our house. Oh, Larry, you are looking like one super fancy snail. You've got new eyes that have a bit of a twinkle to them, which I'm in love with. And of course, you have your new entrance leading into the interior of the shell with a ladder. Now, I decided to not go with the staircase because it literally would have like stuck out way over here. This way he looks very mobile. Like, you know, you could climb aboard Larry and we're going to head off to the other end of the uh, jungle. So yeah, I really like that. So let's head into the interior and see what the possibilities are for how we're going to design this. So there's plenty of room in here. It is a little bit of an odd shape being a circular interior, but uh, I think we can work through that. We got the windows installed there. So let me know in the comments. What do you like to see in here? And give me some ideas on how to decorate this. One thing I will be doing is adding four windows in either of these corners. I think that'd look really nice and a chimney. So no, 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 I did it again. I did it again. I cannot get used to not having electric wigs on. Um, I died <laughs> about 20 minutes ago doing that. Um, somewhere in here, there's a death. <laughs> there's a death of me. But uh, yeah, absolutely love Larry. What a fun episode this has been. I'm really glad that I pushed through because I'm kind of coming down with a fever. I might have an infection and uh, I just wanted to push through. And I'm so glad I did because we had the fun with our bandit, jungle bandit across the way there. And we built Lair. Lair's looking nice. And yeah, so that is the start of season seven. Our magical misfit village that we will create at some point and Scarred Industries. That is right. Scarred Industries, Moonbase Alpha, all the wondrous things that are coming in Season 7. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit that bell button. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the video deserved rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become Scarred for life.